go. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. I'm Ranyakumi, the dog is here with me. And... Howdy there. Yup. And yeah, time to try not to get horribly murdered or something. I need more vines for the medkit, right? I mean, do you really need to make medkits? If you're making medkits, that means you're dealing with monsters. Eh, yeah, fair enough. I guess I don't need them yet. And you don't deal with monsters, you pretend they're not there. Until they kill you. It is nice to have a better capacity. The real question is which way am I supposed to go now? They said there was a tower or something. Right now you're at the point of the game where it... Go where you want to go. Just, you know, pick a project. Survive. I don't know, I think survive is good equal to project. Oh, doesn't look like I can go in there. Not from here at least. I could try going under. Just remember the two mo the most important thing you need to do in this game. Don't drown. Probably. Was it I cannot scan that? Yeah, it's part of my constituent makeup. Yeah, something like that. Should I be worried about those things? You found your first carnivore. So I noticed. You know, I didn't actually find the frost anemone in my first in my first uh, playthrough that didn't actually get too far into the game. Hmm. I mean, I guess technically I got pretty far, but. I don't know how far I got because I never finished. Wait, does that just have oxygen for me? Ow! You found your second predator! Yes! I was referring to the big titan fish or whatever. I think he gave me oxygen. Yes! Cool. I'll have to keep them in mind. Also, good to know that this direction seems a bit more dangerous than the other one. I don't think the brine wing fish that you found first is actually hostile to you. And symbiotes aren't actually that dangerous. Literally, the other direction was more dangerous. Huh. Well, it's not like I have a map or much of a clue on where to go, so I'm just collecting things, seeing what I can craft, looking around for more parts of the. Break. When you get close to things, your PDA will mark important locations and uh, let you know about them, so... Yeah. Keep exploring. Well... Oh, 
I can just make glass. By the way, there's no point in making the flashlight. There isn't. Ah, uh, kind of ish. You still need sulfur. The for flashlight that. is. The flashlight is really only useful above ground because below ground you're going to have your little uh, sea moth. You know what? Not sea moth. Uh, glide. Yeah, you know. Once I unlock that. I might That's well, really not hard. I might as well craft that just to have it. Like, gonna be honest, unlocking it's really not hard. I kinda feel you. Uh, okay. Did I make the themes? Yes. Flashlight wrapper to compass and actually finding the rest of the sea glide. You know, might be useful. I got a poke. Was it just someone saying that ROM was in work? Yeah. I'm tempted to start my own playthrough at the same time as you, but uh, I, I don't want to get confused by two different game sounds going off. Yeah, that would be rather confusing. Ooh, what's that? Okay. Just need one more. Again, I told you, that should be one of the first things you unlock because those fragments Oxygen. are fucking everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, it's just a matter of actually finding the parts. And you have the game highlighting them, so... Yeah. Yeah, when you actually start finding above-ground locations and want to explore them at night, that's when you need the flashlight. So Any was... other time, you can not need it. So it would still be nice to have, eventually. Anyway, let's go back and see if we can make the sea glide. That should help, you know, moving around Oh, uh, you know you can check your blueprints, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Yep. So I need copper and some more seeds. I think That's... you have enough copper to make. Yeah, you have enough copper. Literally, literally, you have everything you need. I mean, I need... I'd recommend eating... You yeah. have two more at the bait, remember? Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, Ran, you dropped the filtered water. Not what I meant to do. That's it. You might want to eat one of those, uh, frost things. Frost things? Because remember, you can... Check down your inventory. Left. Up. These ones? Yes. Oh, I thought they were useless. You might want to eat it. No, they're edible. Well, no. The thing you read literally said that they need to be carefully harvested for food. Look, at the moment I was just skimming the area to make sure it wasn't dangerous. All Terra supply cash nearby. That would it should have lit it up. Yes, that's why over there. But I'm here for this one now. That also, that symbol also means that there's a beacon there. Ran, you have four of those back at your base. All oh, right, I did store some of them. You need to quit picking those things up because they fill your inventory. I mean, I specifically didn't need them, I just forgot I had some storage. Anyway, 
I'll go look at them. That's why I said you need to quit picking them up, because you're going to fill your storage with those. I also keep forgetting I make uh, multiple things for every use or whatever. This game is fucking gorgeous. Yes. Also terrifying. Oh, it is thundering. That's not scary at all when I'm constantly underwater. Dang! It finds the shortest point to ground as long as you're not touching the bottom. Because remember, this is salinized water. Yeah, yeah, good point. Anyway. Uh... useful on its own, so I would not craft literally all of it into... I mean, I only crafted one. Yes, Use but I'm just saying. Light and map. I made that mistake. Oh, I do have an extra copper. Both the other frost anemone hearts that you have because those are gonna rot. Yeah, might as well. And store some of the other stuff. Like the extra flare. Actually, I'm gonna keep that. And store the creature egg. Oh, yeah. And you know, you can store two peepers for later. Or when you actually get the tank that allows them to breed. Yeah, good idea. You only need one food producing fish. Or two food producing fish. But one type, you know. Yeah. Alright, I can go ahead and disable that and that now. Uh, five is your, uh, sea glide? Yep. By the way, I'd recommend restructuring your, um, quick bar to make it better. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I don't you really can literally... need the air bladder so much, so I can just switch them around. Yeah, well, should... what I would do is air bladder four, med kit five. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, scanner. By the way, press F so you can actually see. Yeah, good idea. Kinda hard to see the map anyway. Yeah, the map is useless. Right click turns on a flashlight, but it does consume more power. Makes sense. That's why I said you don't really need the flashlight. I should probably go for air first. Remember, the bladder can give you an extra 15 seconds. That is quite a big iceberg, alright. I do not need to grab more of those.
Okay, Ran, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, you're gonna have to go under the iceberg to get the supply cash. Yes, yes, I was just grabbing it while I, while I noticed there was some. Oh, but that was it. Was that yeah, really it? There's oh, some... never mind. Another flare, some water. Use beacons to mark traverse territory. Show or hide the signals of your choice with your Xenoworks PDA. Now Remember, Ran, you can scan things. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay, that seems to be everything. Completely ignored your the light that you can scan. The what? The light. Oh. Damn. It was even highlighted. Giggle! Those are just the edible things, right? Yeah. You're hungry enough that you could eat one, so might as well harvest it and eat it real quick. Yeah, let me just grab some air. Not like it matters since this just pauses the game, but you know, whatever. Oh. Well, I guess it's just time to start exploring since, you know. Oh yeah, this is just in the middle of iceberg territory, like there's no... There's no surface way out. just happened. There's asshole fish that will freeze you in place. So that's what it was. How do I... Oh, I had to click. Well, at least that doesn't seem to have done any damage. It doesn't damage, but when you get oxygen... That was just a sea glide fragment anyway, so it was kinda pointless. By the way, that was the brine fish that did that. Got it. Don't get too close to them, because they are a big fan of bad touch, no touch. I don't think this is the right way. That seems more like the right one. Hopefully. Stitch in. I noticed. Ah, having the Siglad is so convenient. I just, you know, need to keep it stocked with open and stuff. Speaking of which. There will be ways to recharge batteries later. That's good. Alright, I seem to be back in the safe area at least. Not entirely sure which way to go, but... I mean, obviously deeper into the safe area is not it. Clearly, but I just wanted to, you know, go back and store some shit. I think there were a few ways, like, further down. I'm not sure I'm in a situation where I can check those out yet, but, you know... I should probably keep them in mind. I'm just gonna store all, all of my ore. And there should be really some 
Yes, if we can go find something on the other direction. Which I think was this way. Oh, that was a lot closer. Not what I was looking for, but... That goes rather deep. Are those the same monkeys? Yes. I do not like that sound. Uh, that's only that's only the suicide bomber. Yeah, I thought I recognized it. Well, I have silver. Yay. At least it doesn't seem like they intend to take my seal either. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. See, I'm being brave. Are you proud of me? <laughs> Is that the brood shark or whatever? Yes. Okay, I'm leaving. Sorry for disturbing you. <laughs> oh, that's not a brute shark. That's an asshole. Is he doesn't do too much damage. Oh, are those the he guys also doesn't directly. Are those the guys that just go and steal wreckage pieces? And pieces of wreckage or whatever? No. That's equivalent to what the brute, brute shark is. Okay. Well, that wasn't too horrible. I'm only mildly terrified. I think. Anyway, I can... I can make a wedding kit. Oh yeah, I need more copper and... Mostly just copper. Do I have any copper here? Nope. I guess I should probably go down and look for various outcrops to get copper from. I don't even know if they respawn or not. No, eventually you're gonna have to go further out from your base to get materials. Yeah, oh, what? You thought you were gonna be in a happy place? <laughs> That's funny. I also don't really know if I'm what I'm even looking for. Listen, it's a big fuck off radio tower. Can't miss it. Sure, well, I found this thing. Also, for the love of God, remember to scan things. I cannot scan the ladder. I think I had already scanned that one. Yes, but it does give you titanium if you rescan things. So I noticed. Fragments like that. Okay, that's just the penguins. Penguins? Whatever. The adults are penguins. The babies are penglings. They hmm. are both adorable. Yes, yes they are. I was mostly trying to get you to remember to scan the fucking desk. I'm glad you did. I, f I think there's something 
under it that you need the skin as well. Uh, also, uh, keep an eye on your temperature gauge. Oh shit. Luckily, apparently being under water makes the frost not exist. The wetsuit is better able to thermal to thermally regulate your temperature underwater. Yeah, if that makes sense, kinda. I wouldn't really know anyway. Hey, copper. Hey, oxygen. I should not be going here, should I? Uh, this is pretty safe. Say something, huh? Well, I actually needed that, so whatever. I'll take it. I told you, this is pretty safe. Did you remember to scan the Argentite? Argentite? The thing you're getting silver out of. Uh, wasn't that this thing we scanned earlier that was stuck in the terrain? No. What you scanned was Galena, which gives you lead. Remember, Ran. Scan everything. Wait, everything I can scan at least. Warning: thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. I should probably get a move on. Four. Right click. Well, that's one way to avoid them as well, I guess. I have seeds at my base, I need to actually remember that, because I should now be able to craft a repair tool. You forget that you also have uh, the whatever it is that you need at base. the material that you make out of that, because you made some of it. Uh, indeed. Copper wire as well. Oh, yeah, I should probably, like, mark that. Eh. Mineral detector is not super useful. Being entirely honest. Okay. All right, beacon. I did grab one of those. Not important though. That, however. It only tells you what direction you're facing. It will help me figure out where the fuck I am or where I'm going. I like... Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Something like that. Oh boy, I can craft a desk! You know, with the habitat builder that you don't have yet. Yeah, wow. Oh. I'm telling you, Sammy, you see some weird things when you spend half your day in a sea truck. More vandalism? Was it the sea monkeys again? I don't think so. I can't shake the feeling this planet is cursed. <laughs> There's no such thing as a curse. Yeah, you're probably right. That's nothing. You wouldn't want to hear about it anyway. Just a huge creature frozen in ice. What? Where? In a cave, not far from your lab. And here's the extra weird part. As soon as I called it in, they closed off the area. I don't want anyone going in there. But why? Sammy, I mean, I'm no biologist. But I think there was something wrong with it. Its skin just seemed off. Alien. Gee, it's an almost alien. like in an alien planet. Planet 4546B. No. I'm serious, Sam. Something ain't right. Wish I could show you, but I can't get back in there. You can. But I might know how to. Whatever you're thinking, we never had this conversation. Anything else to listen to? 
No, but you have rocks to read about. Silver and titanium, not surprising. Yep, that's the blind wing, alright. I hate it. And yes, the titan whole fish. I have no idea how this thing works, but hey, it's cute. And, uh, can I keep one? Probably not. Kelfruit, oxygen plant, ribbon plant. And some tech to read about, I guess. Oh, yeah. A light stick and a mineral detector. Uh -huh. I mean, I'll probably make one eventually anyway, but. It's not the exactly mineral detector place. can be. can be somewhat useful. I'll give it that. Yeah, it's just not really on the list of priorities. I forgot to remove the compass from them. Yeah, but, mm -hmm. as I was saying, the mineral detector can be somewhat useful, but the scanner is, or not the scanning, the scanner room is more valuable with the upgrade. Ah, uh, yeah. You know, once, once we can actually build a habitat. Oh, that one's pretty high up. That's the same. That's the same one I've already been to, isn't it? Yep. And there is a cage. Is there any point to it? Probably not. Not anymore, at least. It is. Other gold. Alright, let's keep going that way. What could possibly go wrong? Don't answer that. What is that? Congratulations, you've reached the least dangerous of the dangerous areas. I mean, that's definitely nice to hear. Would very much rather be on the list than Giros of the than Giros areas first. Uh, does not look like I can scan those things. Nothing else to scan here. Remember, Rain, you can right click to turn flashlight on on your T slide. Oh, yeah. Warning. That might help. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. What the light attracts predators. Of course it does. Is there anything I should be looking for around here? Or... But do you know what doesn't attract predators, Rain? What? Being dead. No shit! Oh, I think that one's new. Scan it! It's gold! Is it like huge or something? Oh, never mind, that was just. Warning! 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I'm honestly surprised another beacon hasn't lit up for you yet. Right. Oh no, I'm saying that. There, there's some. There's a reason I'm saying that. Okay. Is it because there should be one around here? 
It's because you were really close to one. If you had kept going in the same direction you were going, you would have ran right into it. I'm not even sure which direction I was going. About face. <laughs> yeah, but my inventory is full. Like, literally, if you had just kept going the direction you were going instead of doing a 180 back towards your base, you would have ran into it. But my inventory is full. <laughs> It's hailing. Oh, of course. That also means it's a bad time to go to the surface. Yeah, I was just quickly grabbing somewhere. You know, it raining it raining ice is a bad time to be, you know in a situation where you could freeze to death. Minor details. Oh, okay. Uh, I should probably eat something. I guess we haven't really found that use for those yet. Not yet, but they are useful for something. I should probably graft some of the quartz into glass by now. Uh, Ran, you know you can craft a locker, right? An uh, underwater yeah. locker that you can store right outside your base to hold all your fucking titanium. Speaking of titanium, let's spend some of it. I mean, it's not, like, huge, but it's big enough that it can be useful until you get the Habitat Builder, which you're not too far off from. By the way, I'd eat one of the nutrient bars. If you keep trying to hold off until it's an absolute emergency, you're never gonna eat them. Fair enough, I guess. They also are very good at overfilling your health bar. So I see. Anyway, so southeast, I think it was. I think it was this direction. Honestly, the direction doesn't matter too much. If you pick a direction and keep going... Just, you know, mind the sea monkeys, because they're fucking assholes! <laughs> they don't get the sea glide in, right? Oh, they'll steal the sea glide, you just oh. can outrun them. Okay. Don't stand still. Don't stay still with anything in your hand. I learned that the hard way. Yeah, I just thought they couldn't because I don't hear them giggling or whatever whenever I have the sea glide on. Oh, hey, it's more of those things. If you take anything from what I say, it is do not stay still when the sea monkeys are around because the sea monkeys are fucking dead. Uh, what's that? It's fine. It won't attack you unless you get too close. Define too close. You have to be literally right on top of it. Oh, okay. Avoid Those them. things are not super aggressive to you. Avoid them like the plague, got it. No, what you do is you get up and you get up close Ow. and you poke it with a stick. By the way, those things explode. No shit! <laughs> Pretty place. Waiting for that. Oh! Hey, it's your first Leviathan! Uh... <laughs> 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. By the way, that thing will attack you! Kind of figure. I might have gone the wrong direction. Yeah, you're definitely going the wrong way. You are going directly the wrong way. Right now. You need to do a complete and total 180. Fine. <laughs> but it's your fault if Don't I die. <laughs> Don't be afraid of it. It only does a quarter of your health and you have two med kits.
I'm only enjoying a little. I'm only enjoying your suffering a little bit. Can you tell? Yeah, kinda. Oh, hey, that's. Hey, look, it's more herbivores. Oh, there are yours. Cool. Ran, you're gonna have to get close enough to scan the carnivores eventually, anyway. Eventually. I never say I would do it right now, though. Well, I... I see more land. I don't know what that is while I'm scanning it. somewhat a carnivore, but it doesn't attack you. Hmm. Cool. Not much else I can do here, but, you know, just keep going. I don't remember. What happens if, if I die? Uh, you Not respawn and you... Iceberg detected. A hollow chamber typically formed by glacial melt. I may have actually sent you kind of the wrong way. Eh, you'll be fine. It's not a huge deal. Anyway, do I, do I lose my shit if I die? There's a chance you lose some of the stuff you have picked up since the last time you picked since the last time you went to your habitat but I don't think you'll lose any of your equipment okay oh I did all this content again this is probably a bad time to be realizing that my sea gliders are almost almost out of power <laughs> you can pull batteries out of other pieces of equipment like your flashlight yeah, good point. Or your repair tool, or your scanner. Yeah, yeah, good point. That one's also pretty big. That's the herbivore. Oh, okay. One of these days I'm gonna tell you a fish is a herbivore, you're gonna believe me and it's going to attack you. But that one actually is. That's a whale. Alright, I am not at all very terrified. That's a strange formation. Ren, quit lying to yourself. Oh, don't worry, I'm not lying to myself, I don't, I'm just lying to you. Quit trying to lie to me, it's not working. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I don't have the depth capacity for that area. <laughs> well, you can go as deep as you want. The question is, will you survive? Huh. Alright, so how do I switch out the batteries? You have to hold it and press R. Make sure there's no sea monkeys around. Well, I don't see any. I am really surprised it is not marked the station you're looking for. Do you think I okay, was Rand, going do the wrong way? <laughs> oh, 
and hop up to the surface and do a 360 real quick. Uh, head northwest. Northwest. Southwest. The... <laughs> I hate that. A little bit. But, uh, do you remember where the explode events were? Uh, not really. Okay. Go down until you can see the explode events. So I'm pretty sure you're near them. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get you on to... Oxygen efficiency oh. decreased. So yes, I am definitely way too deep. I let you go a lot further away than I should have. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, I mean, I... it's not a huge deal. I told you it was way too deep. <laughs> or the idea also, was Ran... Also, Ran... Uh, there's not, like, a rebreather thing in this one, so... So I basically have to wait until I get the... Seamod, was it? It's not the Seamod in this game. And no, you don't. You just have to be careful with how you manage your air, because remember, there's fish and plants that give you oxygen. Yeah, fair enough, I guess. Wait, so there's no actual vehicle other than the sea glider at all? There is, it's just not the sea moth. Oh, okay. Just making sure. At least this place seems to be mostly whales that are not moving in any kind of natural way. <laughs> okay, that's better. I wonder if there's a way up there. It sounds like there should be for some reason. Well, I can actually see ground now, so that's probably good. Exploded things, though. Why is it? Why is this area blue all of a sudden? Dog. Hey, dog. Just, it's based on your biome. Uh, the coloring of the area is kind of based on your biome. So I'm probably on the wrong biome. Well, I found this area again. Okay, so you're back in the main thermal vents. Head west. Ish. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Like, head between south and southwest. So I'm not really much to the west, but, you know. It said between south and southwest. All Terra beacon signature detected. There we go. There we go. Delta station dock. That sounds important. Delta Station. This is the place Lil mentioned in her message. Trying to get you to get that. I am trying to stay away from 
Ren, you are so far away from the... You have to literally be touching them for them to be hostile to you. Specifically the one that you're looking at. That's just nice the point. Oh shit, I have the... I had the fucking flashlight down by accident. No wonder he was saying in energy so fast. Don't pick up that beacon. Yeah. You're going to need to come back here. Fred, I'm not blaming you. But what do you mean it's gone? Where did it go? You found some trouble somewhere in the deep twisty bridges and decided to jettison modules? Yeah, I had to jettison a module. I got free, went back for it. It was just gone. And you think someone stole it? Or something. I didn't lose it, that's for sure careful with my tools I'm sure you are but you have to admit there have been a lot of sea truck accidents and they're rather expensive you want to follow me on a few runs tomorrow see what it's like conditions are way harsher than anything I ever imagined I don't know if you could really understand it from inside your base that won't be necessary and careful Thanks for your time I'll write it up I as an accident As soon as I get into the water. <laughs> Ren, it plays their noises from a lot further out than their aggro range. I've noticed, but it Should doesn't know. help me. <laughs> yeah, I can make a float light. Clearly, I don't. By the way, the caves have those thermal flowers in them. By the way, I'd scan the shit out of that. This thing? Eat those. Oh, they are huge. <laughs> yeah, they're huge, but look at what they give you. Ooh, healing food and... Mm. Not much water. Still, it's some. What? Oh shit. I didn't realize that was something different. Uh, quite a few thermal flowers. I wonder if they were planted on yeah. purpose along the way up there. Probably. That's an interesting name. Makes sense, I guess. I just realized the video's been running a bit long. Let me just try to find some kind of hit source. Yeah, like that. Um, yeah, this is a good place to stop and go to the next video. Yeah, so, yeah, hope you'll have fun. Uh, next time we'll probably get to the base and totally not get horribly killed. Goodbye!